Let's bring in Washington Times opinion editor and Fox News contributor Charlie Hurt along with Fox News contributor Sarah Carter. Both of you, welcome again to the bottom line. Good to see you. Sarah, want Great to come to you. to you first, get your reaction. Joe Biden's not talking about shutting down the southern border, but talking about paying other countries to take our migrants. What say you? Oh, I mean, where do you start with this? It's theater. It's pure theater. It's lying to the American public. It's uh, believe what I say, not what I do. We've had over three million just this year alone encounters inside the United States. And at the southern border, we've had 169 people just in this fiscal year alone connected to terrorism. At the southern border, we have spent hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars Sean, across the board to uh, to Latin America, to South America, to NGOs, to uh, cities inside the United States to help mitigate a crisis that they actually have started. Um, this is one lie on top of another. And I was just I was in I was stunned when I was listening to the to the uh, words coming out of Kamala Harris's mouth about the yellow school bus. Mm. When I'm down at the border and thousands of people are pouring across the border, they're not on a yellow school bus. They're on rented buses that are private buses that have tinted windows so that the rest of the world can't see the thousands of people pouring into America. And by the way, it's they talk about economies and the economics behind it. That is not a reason for asylum. If you come to this country because you want to make more money, you have to get in line with everybody else around the world and do it the proper way. Asylum is for very specific reasons. So this is once again shocking. It is a waste of time. It's theater because we have an election coming up and he has a policy that is literally tearing our nation apart. Yeah, and in one breath, you're, you're letting them in with an open border. At the same time, he's meeting with these leaders and he's helping them actually shore up their economic systems while ours are in complete shambles over here. We're letting them in the country. We're also giving them money so they can work on their banking system. But that's another conversation. Charlie, I want you to take a look at this video because it shows federal agents using hydraulic powered forklifts. They are ripping razor wire fence out of the ground to let migrants be able to enter the country. It's suspended in the air um, and they're just coming in under the fence. So it resulted in a federal judge actually handing down a ruling ordering Biden's feds to stop tampering with the wire. So Texas is saying don't come in and the federal government is saying here let us open the door for you. Yeah Jackie it's it's truly truly amazing and uh, as Sarah pointed out it's all very serious and I think it's a threat to the country but if it weren't for all that it's also uh, rid so ridiculous it's kind of comical um, the you know it used to be uh, on Capitol Hill everybody that was opposed to doing something about the border again because they wanted indentured voters to come into the country and vote for Democrats uh, they would they would joke about putting up you know if you put up a 12 foot fence uh, they would somebody would invent a 13 foot ladder and here, you don't even need a 13-foot ladder. You just rely on the federal government to come in and undo their own laws. Uh, and, and, you know, of course, everybody loves to say, oh, the immigration system is broken. Well, you know what part of the immigration system is not broken? Is the part that says it's illegal to come into the country illegally. That's still not broken. That's a law. And, uh, and what we have is a federal government that is completely disregarding all of that. You know, in terms of uh, Kamala Harris, the thing that is, you know, a lot of us, we think of politicians and politics as being a way to, you know, you elect people to solve problems. This is a total bizarro world where you have elected officials who go around the country looking for root causes to import into our country. They view our country, our taxpayers, our, our citizens as people who are responsible for fixing all these problems all over the world, even though, as you point out, Jackie, we have a lot of problems ourselves. Thank you very much. But this is the contempt that these elected people have for, for the, those of us who live here. And that video exemplifies Joe Biden's administration. You have Texas doing the job of securing the border, all the while CBB comes, right. CBP comes in and lifts it up and says, no, no, we want to let people actually in, which is Joe Biden's policy. But I, I want to shift gears now to the Biden corruption scandal. Hunter Biden now doing what Democrats really do well. 
He's playing the victim right in an op-ed in USA Today claiming his drug addiction has been weaponized to attack his father. Hunter also crying that the fruitless congressional investigations into his shady dealings is an all-out annihilation of his reputation. That is what he is worried about, Sarah. He's talking out of both sides of his mouth. Oh, he is, and and this is a this is a complete and utter way of like trying to be on the offensive with a massive lie, trying to twist the truth. Look, Hunter Biden is the son of the president of the United States of America. He was the son of a senator. He was the son of a vice president, and he had access to all of that. And we know that the family has taken tens of millions of dollars from China, from Ukraine. He had business dealings over. Overseas. He had access to classified information and, by the way, access to very high-level personnel in the executive branch, including back then President Obama and others in the Senate and others with highly classified access. So he was very important to places like China and to places like Russia and to their intelligence apparatus. And because he was an addict, and let me remind him again, he was compromised. He was compromised because he could be drugged. He he could be used, he could be put in compromise, he could be honeypotted, which I'm sure he was. We saw that all on the laptop from hell. By the way, great job, Miranda Devine. Their book is <laughs> phenomenal. But it exposed them and it exposed what this family has put the country in danger. And by the way, the rest of the world, and I'm positive that as investigations continue, you're going to see that compromise be more and more open. But this is a way of them utilizing the media to then flip the script to try to act like they're the innocent victims. We have to stick with the truth, stick with the facts, and keep exposing what this family has done because they have put every single American in danger here and every single person in jeopardy. And anybody else would have gone to jail. He's not because he is the president's son. Charlie, I'm sorry, we, we have to run. We'll have more time next time uh, to get your response. But uh, to both of you, Charlie. I couldn't approve upon that. <laughs> it was pretty good. Charlie and Sarah, thanks, thanks for being thanks, here. Charlie. We appreciate it, you guys.